It's the first mailbag Monday of 2021, and I'm starting off today with Blackstone Porter from Driftwood Brewery in Victoria, BC. They describe this as a London-style porter with bittersweet chocolate character and a blend of caramel, black, and chocolate malts. Hmm. Hmm, that is quite nice. As you can see, I've got such a pile of mail here that I barely had room to open my beer, so let's pull one off the pile and get the rest of them out of the way and see what's in here. First in says icy test socket 14p. All right. Looks like two of them. So I'm thinking these might be, yeah they are, zero insertion force sockets. 14 pin jobbies. Okay. Those will actually work for anything down to, you know, eight pin. It's the same one that's on this uh, cheap little tester here. I'm guessing, yeah, I did order two of them. Okay. And with all that uh, bubble pack, the pins didn't get whacked. That is nice. So I think what I'm going to use these for, I think the reason that I ordered these is for a programming jig for the uh, smaller AT tiny type uh, chips. So I can just drop them in, program them, not have to worry about doing ICSP while it's on the board. 14 slash 16 slash 18 slash 20 slash 24 slash 28 slash 32 slash 40 pin IC test universal ZIF socket TRAS. Yeah, whatever that means. Uh, from this jumble of letters over here, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. Currently selling for 265 Canadian or 208 American each. I bought two of them, and back when I bought these, the two of them cost me $3.72. Had free shipping then, still does now. Next thing in appears to have come from Russia. Uh, oh, Belarus. Okay, close enough to Russia. Sorry. Physically close, not, you know, whatever. Um, anyway, in here we have, wow, well, it says 20. Lots and lots of tape on it. Okay, it's getting some of this out. Oh, connectors in parts. Okay. Uh, a representative sample of these out of here okay yeah there is 20 of them like the scribble on the bag suggested and I thought what I was ordering when I ordered these was like 10 male and 10 female but they appear to be all the same these are Dutch Dutch something like that connectors um, made in the USA there's the part number and they are a weatherproof type of automotive connector and then the reason that I ordered these was just to have a you know uh, inexpensive weatherproof or weather resistant uh, connector for outdoor lighting and whatnot I'm gonna have to uh, dig a little bit deeper into these and find out exactly how they work 20 times original Deutsch Deutsch uh, something DT series two-way plug connector kit there's some part numbers and stuff for you. Got these from Enter 2000-2012, who is located apparently in Mints. I bought these at auction and I got them for 39 cents. That's why I wasn't too stressed about the type of connector or the gender or anything else of them. I figure I can, uh, I can afford to uh, hunt around for the mating connector if I need to. For, you know, like I said, 40 cents Canadian essentially for 20 pieces two cents a connector yeah i can afford that and there is what's in the package 40 pins i assume 20 shells 20 of that part 20 of that part whatever that is okay um i'm gonna have to lean on a couple of automotive uh, people that i know to uh let me know what these mate with and what they actually are used for under normal circumstances next thing in is it doesn't say oh yes it does it says it's a module Okay, let's see what that is this time. Looks like a bunch of surface mount components. And judging by the labels on them, got a W, a G, an R, a B, and a Y. 
Those are going to be LEDs. We've got about two millimeters across, by about four millimeters long, something like that. I guess we'll have to find it in the listing to figure out what size these things really are. 500 pieces SMD LED kit, 1206-805-603, red, green, blue, white, yellow, five times 100 pieces pack. Got these from Top Bazaar. Uh, they're currently selling for $12.91 Canadian. Back when I bought them, they were $10.46 Canadian with, of course, free shipping. And it is, in fact, the 1206 size that I got. Not a huge amount to say about them. They're LEDs. Uh, different uh, colors of LEDs, as always, take a different forward voltage, um, but they're all rated for 20 milliamps. Uh, anywhere from the red ones being somewhere between 1.8 and 2 volts up to the white and blue ones being between 3 and 3.2 volts and the green one as well next in we have well we don't know what this is because it came through the drop shipping uh, warehouse in mississauga so total surprise oh header pins okay just standard male uh, 40 pins but you can snap them off at whatever length you want uh, header pins Shop stock, just restocking uh, because I've used a bunch in various projects recently. Five pieces, 2.54 millimeter, 40 pin, male, single row, pin, header, strip, good quality. They wouldn't say crap quality, would they, even if it wasn't. Anyway, I got these from PLC Engineer. Um, they cost 99 cents Canadian for five pieces. I bought two packages, or two uh, of those, so 10, uh, which cost me $1.98, and the price hasn't changed in all this time. Hmm, apparently it isn't have any available at the moment, but I'll put a link to this anyway, and you can just use the search term, you know. And now, the last and biggest one. This one is somewhat of a mystery. I don't know what's in it, but I do know where it came from, because it says underneath that tape there. This is something that another maker sent me all the way from the lands of uh, alligators and uh, happy cartoon mice. I don't know what he's put in here. He told me it was coming, but that's about it. Thanks for so many hours of entertainment. Hope this stuff in this box is entertaining and useful. Sorry for the thousand envelopes. Cool. Thanks, man. Let's... Oh, hey. Model railroading stuff. So these are, as it says on there, KD brand magnetic uh, couplers for model railroad stuff. Hang on here. So typical train set cars come with this type of coupler on them. Uh, it's referred to as a horn hook. It's fairly generic. It's not patented, uh, which is why pretty much every uh, train set car comes with them on it. Most model railroaders, uh, hobbyists who are more into model railroading and want more reliable operation and more accurate look, replace them with KD branded or some uh, generic clone of them, um, couplers like this. Um, they operate and look more like the real thing and they have the, you know, this which looks like the brake hose on a typical uh, train car, but it's also magnetic. So if you uh, put some magnets under the track in the right spot, you can actually remotely open the coupler and disconnect the cars. So that's what all of these ones are. <laughs> and holy hell, man, you found a lot of them. Those are not cheap. I'm going to assume, based on who he is, another maker has access to an awful lot of, uh, of good deals. And he's almost as cheap as I am. Uh, he will, he will seek out deals and, uh, and buy in bulk when he finds them. So I'm guessing that these are part of one of those kind of buys that he's made. I'm going to pull these out and see what else is in there. Okay. There is another brand of, uh, of the replacement knuckle couplers. These ones are from Bachman. Uh, as I was mentioning, uh, Katie's not the only one that makes them, but uh, they were the first one, but, uh, yeah, other brands are available. Uh, oh, this is the uncoupling magnet. Okay. So you install this magnet underneath the track. And I've actually got one in the track in one spot of my yard already. Now uh, you install it under the track like that. And when the coupler comes over it, 
it uh, move it moves the it grabs onto the uh, the air hose and pulls it sideways. So I have one of those under track magnets here right beside my buddy who's standing there specifically to help me remember where it is. When a train's coming through normally with the couplers under tension, nothing happens. But when you stop over top of it, the train or the couplers let go. And then you can push it backwards with the couplers let go like that. But now that the this car is outside of the magnet's sphere of influence, just back into it and couple on and pull right through. All hands free. That's the beauty of those magnets. And a few other coupler types as well. Uh, number 58 and number 5. There's a bunch of different ones in Katie's line with different physical characteristics. The number 5 is kind of the generic one that goes in most places. You can see here, it's showing the dimensions of it. And the, uh, the coupler is center set on the shank. You can also get ones where the coupler is above or below just so they meet up properly on, on adjacent cars. You want that all lined up uh, properly for everything to operate reliably. Okay, so I think that's all the KD couplers out of there. A couple of bits of foam. That's nice dense foam too. Hmm. Keep that. Uh, more KD stuff. Oh, what's in there? An energy stick, Steve Spangler's amazing batteries, not replaceable energy stick. <laughs> I don't know what makes this thing go, but it seems to <laughs> it's got some flashing colored LEDs in it. It's got a little noisemaker I can see down the bottom of there. See his little speaker on the circuit board. <laughs> well, that's an interesting toy. Um, it looks like it's got a 2032 in there. And I'm thinking that as it was bumping around in the mail system, it may have weirded out more than one postal employee, which is even better than the thing itself. <laughs> Okay, carry on. What do we have in here? A Grove beginner kit for Arduino. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He's... So, another maker has featured this on his channel before. I'll put a link up in the corner to that. And I'll put a link down in the description to his channel in general as well. Um, this is a cool little Arduino kit. Because it comes with... Oh, let me just pop it open quickly. On second thought... Uh, once I get the box empty, then I'll dig into this a little bit further. Hang on. A pair of... Oh! These are also a KD tool for model railroading. These are an adjuster for uh, adjusting that trip pin. Hang on. So these pliers are for putting the proper bend into that little trip pin. Um, see, they've got uh, a... a pin on one side and a sort of a, a recess on the other side. Now you can't see that because it's out of focus. So you put the trip pin just in between there and squeeze it to bend it up in a nice gentle curve or flip it over to uh, put the reverse bend into it or flatten that out a little bit. You got different radii on there. That is a handy little tool for a very specific purpose. And stuck to that when I pulled it out of the box was this little magnet here, which is in fact the uh, the KD uh, non-delayed uncouplers. These go into uh, these set in between the tracks and uh, do the same thing by kicking the the uh, trip pins sideways to uncouple the cars. Okay, what else is down in here? A little container full of KD couplers, coupler springs. That little pill has the springs that go into the knuckle. Oh, and there is a coupler height gauge in there as well. So this coupler height gauge, you plunk it onto a piece of track, and it actually has little notches on there, which will help you gauge the proper spacing of the track as well. But anyway, you plunk it down onto there, and then you roll your locomotive or car up to it, and the coupler 
needs to be at exactly the same height as this one so you can standardize your entire fleet and then the trip pin on your locomotive or your car needs to clear that little shelf down at the bottom of the gauge that way when you're going across uh, grade crossings and various other bits and pieces in your track work it doesn't catch and uh, cause a derailment that's a very handy tool for anybody who's standardizing on this type of coupler and what else do we have in here let's see what this big wooden box is in oh wow dude this is a very old piece of test equipment this is a weston brand galvanometer a galvanometer is a very sensitive ammeter um, you can see i think that this one is uh, sensitive to 10 to the minus 6 amps million micro amps pico amps something in that range really really tiny tiny currents so you have your positive and negative uh, attachments and then just a button to cut it into the circuit because you don't necessarily want this thing running in the circuit full time you just want it temporarily there and then a zeroing calibration uh, up there which is just a mechanical zeroing on the uh, on the meter wow i'm gonna have to dig into that one in the future thanks man and the last thing in the box <laughs> that is an electronic or electrical solenoid uh, striker for a door lock you apply uh, what do we have here DC 12 volts to that coil there and it will unlock this little door latch so you can control this with basically anything um, a swipe card or some kind of an electronic keypad lock or any kind of a remote control or something that you control by Wi-Fi through an Arduino any number of things as long as you can, uh, can provide it with a fairly high uh, amount of current at 12 volts that is cool and all of this stuff and this came from our friend another maker um as i said i'm going to put a link down in the description to his channel and uh, there will be at least one link up in the corner to one of the videos that he did actually probably to two of them the one for that one and the one for this grove beginner kit oh yeah i said i was going to pop that open didn't i hang on so how the grove is sort of the standard for these four pin cables to go between modules so you can connect between the arduino which is what this is it's a slightly non-standard form factor although it does have the pin headers for the shields there but you can connect from this arduino board here to any of these different modules using these so you don't have to mess around with uh, getting the uh, polarities and pins right this is just very beginner friendly just plug and play to whatever module you want uh, what do we have here an LED a buzzer an OLED display a push button a rotary encoder no a potentiometer sorry um, another LED a microphone we have a DHT 11 temperature and humidity sensor we have an air pressure sensor and a three axis accelerometer so that make these alone make it super beginner friendly but this particular kit is even more beginner friendly because the way it's presented in this uh frame here everything is already pre-wired so this led is connected to d4 this buzzer is connected to d5 through these little uh tracks and whatnot you can break them out those are just little mouse bites you can pop them out and use them separately or as a demonstration or as an education piece you can just use these all together as they sit right now i could have saved another maker's box for its very own mailbag but uh oh well here we are so in addition to the generous donations to the channel from another maker who apparently wants to see me do more motor railroad stuff i guess we should also go through quickly the shipping times for the things that i ordered uh these Deutsch deutsch douch connectors that i ordered uh, got cheap at auction took 38 days to get here from uh, belarus 
the LEDs took, where'd my note go? Uh, 140, 142 days to get here from China. I ordered them in June. They got here in November. Man. Um, the header pins took 14 days to get here and the zip sockets took 25 days. And actually, this box from Florida took damn near a month to get here. Partly from Christmas shipping, partly from, you know, uh, plague involved uh, shipping problems. I don't know. Uh, partly from the post office just being the post office. Anyway, this is an amazing haul and it's going to take me quite a while to get through everything and, uh, and get it all sorted out and cataloged and put away and figure out which projects they're going to show up in. But I can guarantee all this stuff is going to show up at some point in the future. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks another maker for your ridiculous generosity. That's, I, I'm just speechless at that. Um, thanks to my Patreon supporters who helped me buy the stuff for my, my mail, regular mail bags and, uh, keep the channel running. And of course, keep my beer fridge going. That's an important thing that they do. Um, comments and questions down below as always. I'll talk to you later.